Hello lovely people. Hello. Today we're going to be reacting to your suggested baby names for <gasps> Mini Kelgren Fosad. You actually can't see because we didn't think through this shot. It's just your boobs. I have got bigger. So much bigger. Well they're still gonna get bigger darling. Oh well. As is my belly. Your belly is so cute. Go on. Go on. There she is. What are you right now? 20 weeks? Yeah. And... We've done more than we have to go for this <gasps> pregnancy. So we better come up with a name quick because we've only got 19 weeks. <laughs> 19 weeks to decide. Yes, yes, so thank you very much for your suggestions. So in our baby Q&A where we answered some of the questions that you had from our baby announcement video, we also mentioned that we would love some suggested baby names. And you guys did an amazing job suggesting so many wonderful, wonderful names. And quite a few of them were actually already on our baby list. So we couldn't react to those. Yeah, we couldn't really react to those. We were like, yeah, no, we like them. Great, they're already on the list. So we had a friend go through and pick out some that were not already on our list or we had not already talked about loving um, or we had not <clears throat> already named our dogs or our names that we probably can't pronounce yeah some of you were very creative I've never heard of a lot of these names a plus plus we have to google some and then be like that's not a thing so we're going to be reacting to just some of the excellent names that you have suggested so the rules that we have in place the kind of guidelines that we are looking for when it comes to a name. I didn't know there were rules. Yes, you do. Long but can be shortened into various. That was not actually a rule because I have liked some short names. My, I've just realized that's why my short names have been vetoed now. You put them on the list. You do that thing, you're like, we'll put it on the list. And then you slowly like cross it off the list. Theophania. Ooh. Not heard of that one before. I hadn't. I'm guessing it's a girl's name. Theophania. Because it ends in an A. And a lot Indeed. Of like Theophania. So it could be uh, shortened to Theo. I like that. Which is like a gender neutral name. It is. Quite nice. I've never heard of that name Theophania. before. Theophania. I'm sure that's not on the top 100. Let's find out. Okay. No name. No, no, Matt, no name. Oh, look, Nameberry. Telling us about it now. This is so, what were you on? Okay gone up 2% this week. <gasps> this and week. It's a girl's name meaning of divine manifestation. This ancient name belonging to a Byzantine empress may be difficult to wear. The English variation Tiffany may be more wearable. I did not know that Tiffany was like an English variation of Theophania. Well, learn something every day. You really do. I hate the name Tiffany. I, fair. Yeah. Oliver. I think as a name it's quite nice but Way too common. It does work with the Jessica Claudia, but it is also the number one baby name for a boy in Britain, so And has no. been for years. Tarquin. Oh, I like Tarquin. Oh, my parents would kill me. Why? They would actually stop talking to me if I named our Why? son Tarquin. Why? Who do you know who's called Tarquin? No one. What's wrong with Tarquin? It's just a name they've always made fun of. I think it's really sweet. I think it's really cute as well. What, do you want to call him Tarky? I think you'd... I think you go for Quinn before you go for Tarky. <laughs> Tarky, yeah, that doesn't sound very nice. Let's look it up on Nameberry. Is a boy's name one of the few ancient Roman names that doesn't end in us? The rarely heard Tarquin has a decidedly creative, even dramatic flair, which could appeal to the parent looking for a strikingly original name. Ooh. Sounds like us. Well, and it's number 577. What? Tarquin is a pretty good name, though, because I'm pretty sure most people have heard of it in the English language world would be able to look at Tarquin and be like it says Tarquin yeah although we do like a name with a meaning and doesn't apparently have much of a meaning they like it so they say it's got an unknown Roman meaning which is very vague your name means lame <laughs> do you really want to put too much weight on the uh, meaning of a name Thomas so overused so done <laughs> we know so many Toms Millicent Millicent I mean, this name... Wait, isn't your friend Millie called Millicent? No. Oh. Millicent, yes, you could call them Millie. Mm -hmm. Or Scent. Penny. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> but then why wouldn't you just call them Penny? It's like, oh, your name's Penny. No, it's actually Millicent. That would be even weirder. You think Madeline to Millie's weird. Oh. I don't like the name, though. All right. It makes me think of a millipede, an old lady. Millicent is your strident feminist aunt. Yes, it's a bit of a busybody. <laughs> what do you think of it? Well, I don't know, I think Millicent could be, yeah, to be fair, it means, it's a German name meaning strong in work. It's a strong name, I do like that. Lily. Oh, I like the name Lily. Lily is very, very cute. We do know a wonderful Lily. I like flower names. It's a bit too cutesy though. I like Lily as a nickname, <laughs> taken from a short, much longer name. I like long names. I just have Catriona. Katrina. Katrina. 
Catriona. It means Gaelic form of Catherine, which oh. means pure. Well, I stand corrected. I would have guessed that that was in some way Spanish. Yeah. This Catherine variation used through Ireland and Scotland is pronounced Katrina. Katrina. Oh, Katrina. Yeah, it's Katrina. Apparently, it became popular after the Crusaders brought home stories about the colourful fourth century martyr Catherine of Alexandria. Uh, there is a massive Kat hurdle with this name in that apparently it's we Katrina. And we can't pronounce it. We didn't get it. Catriona, people say. Other people aren't going to get it. No. I'm afraid that's a no. It's an out. Mark. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> My baby. Can you Mark. imagine us naming our child Mark? I don't, yeah, I think it's funny. I don't think it's not. Jessica, Claudia, and baby Mark. It's like a straightforward name, very manly. Everyone's got a friend with a boyfriend called Mark. Mm, no, not us. Genevieve. Ooh, Genevieve. Genevieve is a nice That's name. That's cute. I like the Eve. You can Ooh. abbreviate it to Jeannie. Oh. My mum's name was Jeannie, but it was J E. A double N I E. You could spell it genie, like genie in a bottle. Mm -hmm. You could say Jenny. You could say Eve. Evie. V. V. There's lots v of names you can abbreviate. Um, Vivi. Vivi is quite Vivi cute. Vivi is cute, yeah. Oh, I love those kinds. Of and also, that wouldn't be weird. Like, oh, Vivi, oh, is that, what's your full name? Genevieve. That's like, kind of makes that sense. That makes perfect yeah. sense. No one is going to be like, what? Penny? <laughs> Millicent? <laughs> Your name, by the way, does not in any way have any connotations about how strong your feminism is. I love how Jessica is like, so like, <laughs> I must not offend anyone. It's like this whole video is about basically dissing it's people's names. It's just us offending people about yeah, their names. Cares? Yes, sorry. Must try harder to offend people. I mean, you told me my name means lame. I didn't like, if it, like punch you or anything, did I? <laughs> Fine. I mean, I don't think you should punch anyone. A name is a name. Like, the whole point is you can nickname yourself something different, or you can use your middle name, or if you really don't like it, you change your name legally. Indeed. Edmund. Edmund. Oh. I quite like this. Yeah. To me, this is like the Heroid type of name. Oldie, Englishy kind of names that people know. Edgar. <laughs> that was more out there, I think. Sure. But I don't like Ed. No. Oh, Raphael. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is nice. That's cute. We could have a Raphael. Mm. Can you imagine that for us? Raph. Raffy. Ra ra. Oh, adorable. Let's see how popular it is on Nameberry. Probably massively. It's a Hebrew name for God has healed. And it's a romantic arcade archangel name that sounds both artistic and powerful mm. and it's a cross-cultural choice with significance for people from both latin latin and jewish roots plus plenty of grounding in the english-speaking world oh in it's number 124 mm. what do you mean mm. well i'm just saying you know it's popular he'll go to nursery there'll be another one they'll call him Raphael ks i think 124 is okay darling Rosemary. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. Rosemary's cute. You get the rose. You get the rosy. I don't like the name Mary. You get the Mary. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like Rose as a name, and even rosy, but like Mary, no. Abernathy. Abernathy. Isn't that a place in Wales? I really feel like it is. <laughs> was unaware that was a name. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have a look it up. Ape sounds very ape, oldie, worldy, but like oldie, worldy American. No names. Do you feel like we have a lot of Abe's? It's a place. Abernathy, Alabama. Abernathy, Texas. Apparently it's a surname with links to Scottish clan. It is. Peregrine. Jessica's actually thrown this out there before, haven't you? No, I'm pretty sure I threw out Al Algernon and you were like, no. Yes. Per Peregrine, no. No. <laughs> Good name for an animal though. Yes, it makes me think of a bird, like a pelican. Yes. Doesn't it? Like a big pelican. Like if some I kind had of sea an bird. owl. Yeah, exactly. An I owl. I would name it Peregrine. Maybe it's the name of the um, Harry Potter's owl. No, that's Hedwig. Oh yeah. Elizabeth. No, too common. Too dumb. Sorry. Lizzie. How many, how many people know Lizzie's, like Libby's, Eliza's, Beth? Yeah. Magdalena. Magdalena? Magdalena? Magdalena. Shorten it to Magda, Lena. Or Lena. Lena. Maggie. What kind of roots are we getting from this? Middle Eastern? No, mm. no, Eastern European. Yeah, I was feeling like Eastern European, but then I'm also getting a bit of like- Is it like- Spanish. Spanish. I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, apparently it is a name, a girl's name from Greek. Czech. With the Czech origin meaning from Magdala. Yes. Ah. Oh, it's also often heard in the Hispanic community. Okay, yeah. And it is number 553 on Nameberry. Okay, so it's, it's not super there. popular, so that's good. Yeah. But we're, we're definitely getting some Hispanic and Czech origins, which neither of us have. Yeah. Clarence. 
I like Clarence. Oh, you do? Yeah. I actually had this. I, I quite like Clarence. I float nice. it around occasionally. I think it's really nice. Can't really abbreviate it to anything. Mm. Okay, I guess not. Anastasia. Ooh. Well, there you go. I can claim that one. Yeah, because that's got Russian links, obviously, and Jessica's got yeah. Russian links. It ends in a, the nice family where we have going. Yes. Right now, which is nice. I'd quite like to keep that. You can just call her Stasia. We can. I know Astasia. She's a delight. Or Anna. I like the name Anna. That's cute. That is nice. And also it's quite like princessy, but strong princess name. Yes. She's a princess, but she's one that gets stuff done. Yeah. But also it does make me think of that very like alto sounding singer. God, you must know who Anastasia. God, from like the 90s? Yes, darling. Look. Oh my gosh. How do you not know Anastasia? I know who Anastasia is. Yeah. But sorry, that was a while ago, hun. Doesn't have the best fashion sense. Who had good fashion sense in the 90s? Look, look at her. No one. Oh, that is unfortunate. Get your face back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not, a good, it's not a good look anyway. Yeah, that, okay, fine. We can't name our child Anastasia. Oh my God, that's Despite a good it one. being a wonderful name. Stuart. No. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, I mean, there's some questionable, questionable baby names flying out there at the there moment. There are also names going out of fashion, though. Like, last year, there was no one named Devon Bourne. I've never heard of that name. What, is, what? Devon Bourne? <laughs> there, was no one, there was no one named Yvonne Bourne. Oh! I, there was no one named Devon Bourne, that's like, oh, no. What name is that? Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia. I think a lot of people wouldn't know how to say that. Because I looked at it and was like, whoa. Oppie? I'm pretty sure that's not high on the name berry list. Yes. C O P. Girl's name of Greek origin, meaning. The name of a mythological mother who became a stellar constellation. And it's number 200 on name berry. That's high up there. And in England, it's number 883. Wow. Who knew? Mind absolutely blown. Samantha. No. It just makes me think of sex in the city. Oh yeah! No. It's just, it's not got like, it's just, it's not really us again, is it? Jessica, Claudia and Samantha. It does end in an A. No, now I've said it, I've made Samantha cute. Still not happening, but I feel it could be cute. Desideria. Desideria? I'm massively dyslexic, so. And I can't say names if I've never heard them before, like Hermione. one. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone's unsure that is, I thought Hermione was Hermione one throughout quite about the first three. <laughs> Until the movie. Until came the out. movie came out, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I don't like the actual name as well, like the sound of it, Desideria. Like it sounds a bit like a type of like illness. Well, I mean, at least I'm giving some feedback the to these things. You are not doing anything. You're just going, oh yes, how lovely. Oh wow, well, yes, don't want to offend anyone. Too late to change my personality now. That's okay. another thing. We don't want a name that we have to like have a long conversation. A with long people. explanation of why we called our child that name, like Millicent and Penny. <laughs> this is Penny. Oh, lovely. Is it short for Penelope or no? It's short for Millicent. Oh. Why? For the jokes. The only name I like out of that whole list was Tarquin. Okay, <laughs> good, good. We'll get there. We've got time. Thank you so much for watching. I deeply apologise if, if we trashed your I name. know, I was about to say I'm very sorry if I got a bit carried away and like people would <laughs> names. Especially if it's the name that you actually carry. No wait, what's more offensive? If it's your name or if it's the name you've chosen for your child? Yeah, that's more offensive. So you it's can't your help what you Yeah, if it's your name, it's not like you've chosen it. But take off a pinch of salt. Yes, we reason. all have different tastes. Yes, exactly. Like whenever you name something or whenever you meet someone of a name, after a while they just become that name yes and you don't really think of the name anymore because it's just a like a identifying that is true label. that's true there are so many names that i'm like if i could detach that name from that person who i don't necessarily get on with particularly well mm. i would love to call my child that yeah. but it's ruined yeah so thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more of us, you can follow us on Instagram at Jessie and Claude. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends who may also be looking for interesting baby names. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Bye. Reacting to baby names. Ah! <laughs> it was that terrifying of an idea. Okay, I'll just go plug it. <laughs> oh, another one to add to the scream vault. <laughs> Ah! Uh.